Made it here last night about three o'clock in the morning. Florida, look how beautiful this place is. Out here in the sun, it's nice and warm. Over here, we're going to be, well, getting some coffee in this so we can talk straight. Got, uh, got some harnesses, we're going to be balancing out, and we're going to do some SIV this morning. What a nice boat, man. Thank you. Totally dig it. Put wings on her and she'd fly. You guys see. Who's so Jonathan? Hey Jonathan, hey, he's gonna be you know? doing some filming for me. Uh, we're gonna jump in here and see if uh, big old fat uh, grandpa can give us stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Scoot on his butt. <laughs> got Leah over here. She tries to break the angel, but she can't. She just tears. No, up. I got she trouble. Just, she just tears up the field like she's peeling it up and trying to plant some corn. I got <laughs> <laughs> This is all part of the experience when you come out. <laughs> no extra cost. <laughs> all right, we have Leah Cthulhu, Andy Fuller, and PPG Grandpa. Yes. What's up? These are your toe Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that was easier than I thought. Good guy, twist. Riser twist is tight. Uh, I'm in a riser twist. Holy crap. Reach down to grab my reserve and throw because this is crazy. <laughs> so, what are some of the safety things that we got to worry about now? So, I have to, we're going to throw a hook knife on here. Okay. Hook knife here. Yep. When you release this, uh -huh. just take them and just kind of, you can shove them wherever you want. I'll, I usually shove mine right back here. Right? Mm -hmm. Just, just, just. Yeah, just to get them out of the way. Yeah, I'm away. I'm going in the water. Ooh. All right, how do I unclip? Do I, which one do I start with and how do I unclip? So when you land in the water, this thing's got a bunch of foam underneath it. It's right. Like eight inches of foam padding. Do I stay in or what? Yeah, it's basically free flight crumples on it. Okay. This all this padding underneath. So I, I stay in and then I hit boom. Uh -huh. And then how? And then just don't move. Just sit there. Just we'll sit there. Open the boat. Don't kick your feet. If you start kicking your feet around, you'll wrap up all the lines from the reserve. You'll wrap up oh. the lines from the main glider. Okay. We had to get a couple off somebody last week. Oh, we don't want to do that. Yeah, that's that's bad. So yeah, if you land, just just stay upright and sit in your seat. This thing, this thing is so buoyant, you just sit there and float. Okay. And we'll drive by and we're gonna be like. Hey, are you good? And if you're good, we're gonna go get the reserve handle. Okay. Before it sinks, but, we, tie, we tie flotation on it, but it's hard to find. Right. So we go get that thing, and then um, then we'll come back. But if you're not okay, then we just go straight over. Or, okay. We're already right there. You know, <clears throat> the only thing I'm really worried about in this whole ordeal is hitting the water and getting tangled in lines. <laughs> What's the chance of that happening? Under reserve. It's really light because you come down and touch and the reserve gets blown over the top. Of okay. You. And, and the main chute, if I don't have it pulled in, it's possible it could. It's off to the side usually. Okay. So usually, once you throw, just wrap your brakes and that'll turn into a stall ball. Okay. Okay. Good. And just, and just take some wraps just uh -huh. so the wing doesn't fly. Okay. Just okay. stall it off to the side. Call the stall ball. Stall ball. I did not know that. <laughs> and that's why I'm doing this this uh, class. Uh, oh. 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 Shit. And three, two, one, splash. My legs are not tangled. 
which is good. We are signing our life away with the waivers, and uh, we're going to go down to Lake and check it out. I'm pretty excited. The weather is absolutely beautiful here in Florida. Okay. Day one, we're doing uh, asymmetric deflations. Uh, asymmetric deflations holding them and steering both directions. Okay. Full frontals, V-line stalls, and spirals. Can I do it bigger? Yes. And That's bigger. sweet. I'm going to do it bigger. My next uh, paramotor. Um, don't know how I'm going to put that on my back, but I'm sure going to try. I want an airboat. There's Neo. What's up, Neo? Got Leah, she's backing up the boat for us. She's like a professional right now. It works out here, isn't it? Perfect weather and everything. You get sunscreen, right? I got 100 plus on right now. A couple of people that are gonna launch their paramotors over here. We got a airboat that we're gonna jump on and we got Spooky over there plus a jet ski. I never knew that you could do that with a boat. So what are we doing here? We are putting two radios, one for backup. On the harnesses? On the harnesses, uh -huh. right there by your ears so we can brake, 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 brake. So I, so I get it in stereo, huh? I mm -hmm. like that, that's pretty cool. You go all out for me, huh? <laughs> Boys are coming in. Getting everybody hooked up. So he shifts. The wind's coming from that way. Right. So, so what he did is he's facing the boat. That's your wind. The wind's the, the boat. boat. Okay. But on inflation, you still have wind, so you gotta go into the wind. Yeah. So you could set up straight into the wind like this. Uh huh. Right. Unless you just go at it. You wait, 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 and then go at it. Uh huh. Just remember, if you wait that long, it's a pop. Ah. You're not gonna run with it. Gotcha. So. If you've done cross-wing inflation, right? Right. It's going to come up like this. Right. And as you start moving, just correct. Don't let it fall over. Right. And that's actually why I'm making Andy do all the first toes today. Gotcha. I want to see how everybody flies. Aha. Uh -huh. Man, like a butterfly. All right, you're all clipped in. We got your leg, leg, chest, chest, and chin. Okay. Door is locked. Your road is not twisted. Leads to your door, which is free and clear, clear at the pulley. Okay. Here we go. We have your A's. Okay, got my A's. All right. Door is closed. Your road is not twisted, and your brake is free and clear at the pulley. You have your A's. Got my A's. All right. Give me just one second. Okay. So this is what it looks like, guys. To be hooked in and go up for a tow. Thank you. Alright, you feel good, Captain? 
I feel good. Na 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 na. Resistance is futile. Everything I got, I came in here. I'm trying. Oh my god. Oh. I can't do any more cramp. Ouch. Oh, nope. Nope, can't do it. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta cramp, dude. It's so hard to stall a wing. You, you don't think it's that difficult, but oh, it is. Somehow landed like a champion, and uh, got the miles up there flying. So I can't wait for the next flight. Uh, get up a little bit higher than a thousand feet. It's supposed to go up to you know three, four thousand feet.
What are we, what are we doing this time now? Beeline stalls and flat down spirals. Flat down spirals? Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's when I spin so fast, I'm looking down? Go flat down for a second, and then we're gonna exit straight. Grandpa's a boss. Gonna be a close one. This thing can uh, see the wing well. And there we go, full time. Ooh, hit me in the noggin. All right, so here we go. I'm a uh, free flight. Taking everything I got. I'm leaning, I'm leaning. Yep, keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. No, oh, I can't do it no more. Oh. Alright, here we go guys. Full frontal. Oh. Go ahead and turn back towards land. Turn 180 to your left. All right. All right, now we're going to do big ears with some weight here. Now you stay up there, big ears now. Lean to your left. Lean left, get a turn and nice to the left.
takes everything I got to pull this. Everything I got to. Dude, seriously, that was everything I had to collapse this wing. I am not worried about a collapse on this wing ever. Holy God in heaven, dude. I mean, it took everything I had to collapse it and that thing just wanted to go right back up. I'm a lot lower than I thought I was gonna be. My landing is way up there. I might not make the landing the way I want to. That's it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump in the boat with uh, Andrew Fuller, and we're going to pull someone. I'm going to see what it looks like actually in the tow boat today.
excited to make it back. But if, uh, if you want to do one more of those, let's go ahead and do one more. If not, just throw me a big ear. All right, we'll go see you at land. All right, Leah, show us some stuff. Oh, she takes off so gracefully. It's like she's done it before. Old. Perfection. That was so funny. Oh, we got that one on film. Yes, we did. Hi, it's Pikachu Grandpa here with Andrew Fuller. Look at all these cool angels here. So, what's this all about, man? I mean, what, what we got here? These are all the ones that are sold. Maybe they're waiting to get picked up or they're waiting to get shipped out. This so, is really super awesome. This is a custom purple. Oh, nice. Custom purple. With that's those sparklies. You can see those in the, in the sunlight. Okay, that's and neat. This one right here is, um, they call it hammered red or red vein. Nice. The main chassis. Kind of like yours uses the blue vein. Yeah. And then it has the cinnamon orange cages with the EOS 150 on it. The, this one right here is the uh, the Jurassic Dual Start. This one right here, um, the guy's coming down in May to pick up. Nice. The Jurassic Dual Start, he wanted the custom red colors. That's really nice. So, and so this is a reserve we're drying out from uh, the SIV this weekend. Oh, really? Mm hmm. Well, this one's already dry. We're just getting ready to repack a it. Blast. Yours is on the back porch. <laughs> okay, we'll have to take a look at it. Look at you got a lot more stuff here than I thought that you had. Yeah, a bunch of frame pieces. There's, um, it's all built in the shop, right? But, like the completed stuff that's already powder coated goes here, and then we have another room in there. Okay. That's, uh looks like, like it looks like this basically in the room. Yeah, we got uh, we get plenty of flat top trade ins. So. Unbelievable. Yeah, a lot of people just uh, they just take off their engines, mm -hmm. their fuel tanks, and then they just sell the frame and they like ship them out a new one or they trade it in. Right. Yeah, yeah, like you. Yeah, like I yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that worked out great. And then I sold the flat top and I got a new motor and a new reserve. Mm -hmm. And um, I took an SIV course with Andrew Fuller. And of course, make sure you go to skyparamotors.com, mm -hmm. get up with Andrew. And uh, he does SIV courses now. Are you going to be doing that publicly for um, for from now on, or what's yep. that? Any day the weather is good, so we don't schedule anything. Okay. Um, well, we'll schedule out as far as we can see the weather. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to schedule a date, we just confirm it as long as the weather's good. Gotcha. When it gets closer to we, where we can judge it. So awesome. We don't we don't like scheduling stuff out months in advance, not knowing what the weather's going to be. So. Okay. And then when somebody's ready to get a paramotor, they can get up with you through Facebook or how, how do they get up with you? Uh, SkyTapParamotors.com, Facebook, YouTube, give me a call. Okay. Um, you got yeah. a number that, that's public that yeah. you can give them? Yeah, 813-391-0237. And if they say something that, uh, hey, PP Grandpa sent me your way, yeah. do they get a little something? Yeah, something? you get a little discount. You little get a discount. little something something, so make sure that you say that PPG Grandpa sent you. So um, tell us really quick about these frames. What makes them so safe, and why would somebody want to get one of these instead of all these other ones that are out there? Um, one, it's uh, individual cage pieces uh -huh. with individual, individually strong netting, 500 pound test Kevlar. That's stronger than per, what, anything that's out on the market? Oh yeah. It's, the netting might actually be stronger than the uh, the cage. No kidding. I would think so when it's all woven, woven together. Right. I, I, I'd have to believe so. Uh, the heat, the uh, fixed hang points keeps your butt off the ground. Okay. It allows you from uh, breaking your arms or laying on your face. Right. The fixed hang points also keep your butt off the ground along with the cha the main chassis has mm -hmm. that uh, crumple zone. Right. That, uh, but the crumple zone doesn't work without the fixed hang points. And uh, the fixed hang points also allows for the best weight shift. And uh, I, have to, I, have to, I have to say something real quick because I did fly the flat top originally. These are the softest, nicest, 
This thing weight shifts better than I've ever weight shifted it on anything on a flat top. And uh, I have done some major butt landings on this and even turtled, nothing happens. But let's say that I did. Let's say that I came down really, really super hard and, and broke this main thing. Do you have a warranty or guarantee on that? Yes, yeah, you break the main frame, the main heat treated part, and you get it on video, we send, out, we send, we send you out a new one. Free, so. is that insane? You get a free piece. Now you go ask Scout or all these other people that do stuff like this and say, hey, I broke the main frame on it, but I got it on video. What do you guys do for me? Nothing. You got to pay full price and what? It's a couple thousand dollars. They'll probably say don't post it. What's that? They'll probably say don't post it. Oh, that's right. I want to think it's good for people to post their accidents. Like mm -hmm. I try and post any mess up I have. Um, but also it's so, it's so other people could see how it actually works and how right. safe it is. So. And you've put it out there. It's like, please try to break this frame. I mean, Leah tried to break it. Um, David tried to break it. I tried to break it. You butt drag this thing everywhere that you get the chance, and it's never broken, right? Can it, nope, it's, never broken the mainframe. <clears throat> that's really. We only had one person break cage pieces on the outside. It saved his fingers from going in the prop. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, because this is five hundred pound test. Yep, he fell back and. He's chopping the prop in the dirt and there's rocks flying through the netting. You can mm -hmm. see his hand just on the netting as the rocks are flying through. Yeah, he ended up crushing a cage piece, but... But it saved him. That's the whole idea. Oh, he was stoked. He called me. He was so happy. He was like, dude, I don't know if I want to post this. I messed up. And I was like, dude, post it. Like, yeah. Absolutely post it. Most, most companies, and I, and I get the issue on that one. Like, there's always somebody that's going to come after you for any reason, whether they're attacking right. a pilot for not having any skill. But the fact of the matter is, we all have accidents. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm, I like owning up to mistakes. So... Eat, like especially when I do something like a little ignorant, um, like that what, last video I posted where I just did acro too low and I ended up flying into the water. It's like you know it's pretty stupid, it's kind of embarrassing, but we all make mistakes, so go ahead and post it. Exactly. So well, I tell you, for old grandpa that goes out and was scared to death getting into a paramotor at, at the very beginning, um, I've only been flying for six months. Thank God I met up with, with Andrew and, and learned about safer than anything else I've ever flown. And today I did an S or this weekend we did an SIV course and I feel incredibly safe. So get a good paramotor that's safe, uh, find a good instructor. And when you're ready, you know, get up with Andrew to do this amazing. Oh my God, I had so much fun. I can't wait for the video to come out. So much fun doing this SIV course. And I totally appreciate everything that you've done. I love this little this little area that you got here. And spare parts, so in case somebody does this, do something. Yep, box full of harnesses, out. wall full of harnesses, all the spare cage pieces. Even some of the custom color ones we keep in stock just in case somebody busts it. That's awesome, absolutely awesome. Man, thanks again, I appreciate everything that you do. My main fuel tank has a line. My main fuel tank has a line that comes out of here and goes and goes to your carburetor. So yeah, if you ground it on this side of the motor mounts, it won't go through. Let me so, see how we also do with the... There's no motor mounts between the plate. They're all like that. So how do, how do I... Now, mine had a motor mount on this side. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Oh, I didn't know. So when you decide to upgrade to another harness, you can just do a hardware swap. And that is what we're doing right now. We're swapping hardware for a new harness. All right, so what is this in my hand right here? That's a flat top uh, leg strap. Leg strap, and what do we have here? This is a new angle leg strap. And the difference is? Uh, this one's wider, but also these right here slant down, so because they come up between your legs, mm -hmm. when the line goes tight, it goes to the outside, as opposed to this one, the line goes tight, it goes even center. So you only have about that much room to fit everything through on the flat top. Which is why it's so hard on the center part of this. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's take a little uh, trip down here. <sighs> okay, so what was my last video that you saw? Yes. I had to pull a reserve. So now look what we have to do. We have to dry up the wing and the, re where's the reserve? The reserve's up there, okay. But um, 
I do not feel a, is over there. I do not afraid I do not feel afraid of pulling a reserve. I do not feel afraid of anything when it comes to wing. I had to pull down so hard to make my wing collapse and uh, you're an ozone dealer too, right? Mm -hmm. So if you need a wing, Andrew can help you also. Um, harnesses. Harnesses. Um, there we do gin, U turn, sky, ozone, do deck. Right. And triple seven. There you go. You need something, get up with Andrew. He will take care of you. Trust me, he took care of me. And uh, thank you. I mean, I owe you my life because now going up paramotoring, I, I don't feel afraid. I know if I come down hard, I hit the crumple zone, I'm not gonna damage myself. I know if I do throw, I know what it feels like because I just threw one. Um, I know that the wing that I have, the, the uh, Roaster 3, it takes everything I have, my entire weight, and purposely trying to pull and do frontals, and it's almost impossible. Mm -hmm. So, get up with Andrew. Thank you guys once again, I appreciate your hospitality. Thank you for letting me film everything here. Yeah. And we'll see you guys next time. Catch y'all later. Peace.